Okay, so I've set out the two Derwent types of pencils here. Got the brand new Pro Color and I've just put the Color Soft by the side. They're not compatible really because the Color Soft, as you'd imagine, is meant to be a really soft, uh, easily blendable pencil. And the Pro Color is now the professional artist quality one that's um, just coming out, just being released. So what do we know about Pro Color? Because there's um, since they released it, there's been lots and lots of questions and there's not been lots of answers. So I've got this set ahead of time. So let me just read out a few little bits of what I kind of know, because there's not a lot of information out for me either. There's a couple of pencils missing and that's just because I'm going to test those shortly side by side. So apparently it comes in tins of 12, 24, 36 and 72. So very similar to the Colorsoft. Now the prices I've got at the moment probably subject to change because you know very few places charge a full prices but I've got for the Pro Color a 12 tin about 23 pounds, 24, 45 pound, 36 tin at 66 pound and a 72 pound uh, tin of sets which is this one that's a full set at 138 pound. Now as I said I don't know how those prices will hold up um, because they, they do change with the different retailers but very similar in appearance to the Colorsoft in as far as the size of the pencil shaft that matte finish different color uh, shaft of course and we've got the colors on the top of the pencil so you can easily so see those to pick up good range of colors different than the color soft even though they're made by Derwent a different range we've got a lot more subdued colors in here as well if I put those up you can have a quick look through the both of them so a couple of nice, nice uh, neat things on the new ones are they've got colors um, on the top as I said but they've also got numbers so on this one we've got Prussian blue and the number 32 so what they stand for the 32s you can put them in order so once you've got all your pencils out if you ever wanted to put them back in this nice order with the colors going from one side to the other then you've got starting at one, two, three, and so on. So it's really easy. It's a simple thing, but it's really easy because sometimes I like to put the colors back as they are and you can never really get them in order. Everyone's going to ask about light fastness. I've got no idea. There's no information I can find as of yet for the light fastness of it, which is important to consider, of course, but with the color soft, the light fastness is pretty good anyway and I've got no reason to think it would be any worse than that. I should imagine as a pro color, the professional artist quality, it should be better if anything. So I've got some paper, I've got some Bristol board and what I'm going to do, I've took a few colors out of these sets and I've also taken um, a color out of Prismacolor I think it was so that I can compare them and we can see actually how they perform. Okay, so I've set up a few colors. I've tried to get them fairly close. The Duen Pro Color, the Color Soft and the Prismacolor Premier are wax-based pencils. Now that's um, Polychrome Moss, Faber-Castell Polychrome Moss, that's an oil-based pencil. Okay, just for you to know. So I'm trying to compare like for like and I know lots of you have already got the Color Soft pencil, so I thought I'd put that one in as a test because we can then see the difference with a Pro Color. And I know another very popular one is the Prisma Color, so I thought they'd you know compare quite well. So let's take a look at the Color Soft to start with. Bristol board, very very smooth paper. So if I just lightly go over it with a Color Soft, and it is a soft pencil as you'd expect. So you can use that clickiness as to wax on the paper and then if I push hard as well we can see how it layers and how it blends and it is a very soft pencil as it's supposed to be okay so that's the color soft. So 
some people have said they didn't want the um, color soft so soft and I think that's why Derwent have brought out the pro color so let's see and I can tell straight away it's not as soft definitely not as soft a pencil you can hear that waxiness you don't normally hear that if you have an oil based pencil so if I push hard on here as well normally you'd build up layers but obviously it's a different color there it is building up the layers okay so definitely harder lead than the uh, color soft as you'd expect and then the Prismacolor Premier because it's pointless me saying what's better and what's not because different techniques are going to work for different people and different people are going to like a pencil for a certain reason so all I can do is show you and then you have to decide yourself so I'm pushing really hard now building up that wax layer okay I'd say that the Prismacolor Premier is just a little bit harder probably than the Color Soft but the Pro Color is a harder pencil so that's those three done and now I've got some yellows same brands again and I've just tried to match the colors but I couldn't get them too accurate so let's go with the color soft so quite light building it up and as I said it's a super smooth paper this bristle board so there's not any tooth in it as such and I'll try different paper soon you can see around the edges here a bit of that pencil building up like the dust and that's because it this is very soft here goes the pro color nice vibrant color again though then I'll push hard on it so you can get a lot deposited down if you want and then the Premier pushing hard on that very similar colors as well okay so if I move that that way and we'll have a look at some blues because what I brought out now I've got a polychrome moss in there as well because I know that's popular lots of you have got some of those and so we can see how an oil based compares with the wax base so here's the soft color soft light pressure and I'll build up the layers and I'll start adding that pressure on there I'm pushing hard now the pro color I'm just showing you that basic, you know, laying down. So nice punchy colour there. You can see the bit of the wax in there, which you'd expect. And then the polychromos, the oil based. Just building the layer. Now I'll push hard again. notice you don't get that waxy clicking on the surface as much okay so that's those three done what I'll do now is switch papers because I know a lot of you actually like to use solvents as well so let's see how it works with solvents okay so I'm just going to use a little bit of this gambling gamsol as my um, solvent my odorless mineral spirit let's just pop the lid on that and what I'm going to do is just put some more of these browns down. So if we look at the Color Soft, just put CS there for Color Soft, and I go really light because I want you to see how it blends. So let's push it up and across a bit there. You can see a bit better. 
That's a pillow soft one. It's quite light pressure, a couple of layers. Take pro for the pro colour. And this is a Prisma. And I've selected a paper now, it's just a basic sketching paper. Put a bit more down, let's put a bit more on the pro colour as well. So it's got a bit of a tooth to it, a bit of a grain as it should have and um, that's why I wanted to show you the grain going through so you can see the bit of the paper on there and now if I just take a bit of the Gamsol on a brush just dipping it in touching it on my paper start with this colour soft and you see how it melts the wax liquefies the wax a bit so we can blend it in. And it evaporates quite quickly. So I'll do a pro colour. So that blends quite well too. And the Prisma colour. I put a bit too much down on that top there. You can see it's blending well. Perhaps not blending as readily as the Pro Colour. Let me just try it again at the side a little bit more because I did forget to dab my brush on my kitchen tissue there. And this is a bit of a darker colour as well with the Prisma Colour. Dab the brush. There you go, that looks a little bit better. And then what you do obviously is build up layers on top. But you can see that it they all blend quite well. No problems there. And I'll just put the lid on my gamsaw. Okay, so I've just sharpened the pencils. Now you've got to be aware, remember that these Derwents are a little bit um, larger diameter than a normal pencil. So they're larger than the Prismacolor and they're also larger slightly than the uh, polychromos as well so something to keep in mind my favorite pencil sharpener is a swordfish and the color soft barely fits in there it's as if it's just very very slightly larger than the pro color and it gives you a little bit of a ridge then on the on the edge if you're using an m and r sharpener which is another one of my favorites it takes up to about 10 millimeters or more i think these are about eight so you don't get that then and it's, it sharpens nice and easily. You can see that all three, the Prisma Colour, the Pro Colour in the middle and the Colour Soft sharpen really well to a fine point. No problems there. And if I actually, because they are very, very sharp, if I push hard on there, you can see the Colour Soft will break quite easily because it's that soft okay the prisma color because i've got a real sharp point on there and you'd normally just use it you know quite gently but if i push quite hard it goes but it takes a lot more pressure than the color soft as you'd expect and then the pro color you say you'd normally use a pressure like that so there's no problem there but if i push hard this pro color is not break in even under real hard pressure so that's a very resilient lead on there much more so than the prisma color so that's just something else to keep in mind so pro color 72 pencils in the set professional quality is it worth buying the colors are really really nice in there there's a lovely range of colors they are substantially different in feel than the um, Color Soft. So if you want a pencil that you can actually get more detail out of really, 
and a harder um, lead in there. These are definitely ones to look for. As I said, we haven't got, or I couldn't get hold of any information on the light fasteners yet. I assume that'll be coming out when they are fully released. And they are available in lots and lots of different um, tins with different amounts in there. So they appear to be a really nice set. If you think that uh, Color Soft perhaps is too soft for you, then this looks like it may well be the solution. But obviously, you know, perhaps try try a small set, or if you if they sell them single stock, and you can just get one or two, and you can try them against your favorite brand. Hope this has been useful, and I hope this helped you make a decision on the Derwent Pro Color. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos, and there's also photo references with the Easy Trace line art on there. I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me, and that's on Patreon. And also, if you're after even more reference photos, I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos. I think there's about 900 on there at the moment. So that's wildlifeart-online.com. Now, please, with my YouTube channel, new videos coming on here as well. If you can possibly subscribe to the channel, then you're never going to miss out on new videos.